Right, hi everybody. That's better. Higher FPS. Welcome. Streaming MC. MC baby. <clears throat> I don't stream to Twitch anymore. Nah. I might make a graphic to put on my Twitch page so people know that I'm uh, streaming on my on, on YouTube now. Uh, right, what have I done? I've replaced the wood in here with uh, grass, just so it, ooh, hello, just so it looks a bit nicer uh, and a bit more natural. It looks, it, I think, I, it's it's just it's just much nicer now, basically. Put it that way. Um, what I've been doing is I've been building an area for um, for villagers. That was why, that was one of the reasons why we left the game, because we were so bogged down with all the aesthetic builds. Oh, look at all that. I'll keep that going, but uh, let's get all this on board here. Uh, yeah, all the aesthetic builds were just jaded by them all. It was just like, oh my god, we're just, uh, uh, so many builds. Uh, so, here we go. So, what we've done, what we left, and so, um, what I'm looking for stone. There we go. Need more. Uh, put that in. Where was it? There. That as well. And uh, get a, one of those signs. So yeah, so um, we've had a long break. I'm not saying this is like the return of Minecraft because, you know, it might just be a short-lived kind of thing. Uh, but for now, I fancy playing it, so... This doesn't mean that I'm going to be playing it every night, all night, like I was last time. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it lately, and you know, how much I uh, quite fancy playing, so... Um, aesthetics box, actually, I might already have some... No, I don't. But they would be in that box. I think, unless they're in this box over here. Ah, hmm. No, they're not. Okay. Shafts it is then. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, man. Big up, man. Big up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> right. Uh, I want one of them to go up there. I want to go there as well. Just have that one's cobble because it's full of cobble. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go there for that for now. Uh, actually. Oh, it doesn't matter, this is just overflow, so. And where is the, uh, where's the, uh... Ah, right, okay, it's not cobble, man. That's why I've made it, man. There we go, stone. Stone, because I think this one's all, uh, full already. Yeah, pretty much. Right, okay, now, uh, item three is in aesthetics box. Oh, uh, 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 it's raining cats and dogs out there. No netherrack, that would be nice. Netherrack would be nice. I'm, I'm tempted to start up the cow. Oh no, we've got plenty of that. I'm thinking of. St I was. I was going to say starting to uh, start up the cows again uh, because the, at the minute the cows aren't uh, producing anything. Hamburglar. 
And what's his name? Mm. Prince what? Prince T-Bone the Fourth. <laughs> Where did I get those names from? So yeah, there's no food in there, so they're just they're just sitting there minding their own business. Oops. Uh, I got. Oh, that's where all the cable is. I don't know where all the cable was. Diamond sword in there for looting. Not that we need it, like, cause yeah. Some dirt in there. Right. Okay. Right. I built this. This is a blacksmith. It's not finished. But pretty much, it's nearly finished. It just needs a couple of like decorations inside here, uh, and the and the blacksmiths will go in there. We only need two of them really. I uh, got a little bit of lava. Yeah, I spawned that in, but it's for aesthetic reasons, same as like the lakes. So I don't mind doing that. Bit of uh, iron ore there. The anvil will go there when we finally get one from the end. So that'll be nice. It's already taken care of. This is a church I've started. I built a hill here. If 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 you remember that that wasn't there before, so I built like a little hill there. Um, and I'm going to build a church on the hill. I think it'll look canny. I don't know what we're going to do here. Well, um, there's going to be a, um, a butcher's here somewhere. Um, and then here, um, this path will move over so it's closer to here. And then in this space here, I think we'll build the armory. Now, for those of you who don't know what the armory is, it's a building that I've invented. Um, because we're kind of noticing that we've got that little double box next to the doorway each where we've got some tools in we've got um, we've got um, armor different kinds of armor leather and stuff and then we've got like uh, iron tools diamond tools and we've got like bolts and compasses and ladders and all this shit so with an armory what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to have a, a room almost like a second smaller storage room where we um, where we have a little box for what we're doing. So say like an adventure box. So everything in that box is related to an adventure. So we don't have to think, oh, what do we need to take with us? Oh, do we need a compass? And do we need a clock? And oh, let's take some soul sand and whatever, bullshit. Boats maybe. So that box will basically be full of adventuring stuff. And then uh, we'll have another box for like nether related stuff. And then another box for like mining, for instance. And then we'll have our different armors as well. So I think that'll be canny. And I'm, I think this... This area will here will be big enough to house it. It's probably going to come to here. I'm going to go to there. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it should be canny. A little useful building there. And then we're going to have the church up there. We'll need to make a proper entrance to the uh, trap as well. Um, and I'm assuming it's going to go here somewhere like this. We'll have an entrance like here going down into uh, into the trap. I um, don't know whether to leave this road here or take it away. Uh, and basically have the road going here instead, so you you walk around from there, or maybe just keep both roads. I don't know. Um, probably keep both roads. Yeah, probably keep both. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the plan anyway. So I've been walking around the town, and it's a little bit less. I mean, I we didn't like it. Um, I like this side of the town over here. I do like this area. It's quite nice. It's not perfect, but it's nice. Um, it's a little bit pathy, like here and stuff. A lot of path, a lot of path there, but I don't think we can't write it. And then uh, I like this now. It's like a centerpiece. And uh, this goes down into there. You've got the solar and bottling room in here. And uh, and then obviously you've got the kiln. The li I like the library. I do like the library. That is a nice building. I'm quite pleased with that one. That's where we're going to put the librarians. The librarians are going to be in there. I'll show you exactly where, actually. Um, so the librarians, obviously we'll do, our, we'll do enchanting there. We don't really do much enchanting in here because we just have the enchanting table down in the trap. So um, we'll have the librarians in here. So I'll have like a fence across there to block them in and we'll just keep them in there. It's great. Uh, I mean, when I made this, I didn't have this idea, uh, this in mind. Uh, when I made this little area here, it was just purely aesthetics. It was just to make it, give the library a little bit of a, you know, I don't know, like a lived-in feel. It was just like, oh yeah, oh look out into the trees and and blah blah blah. But um, it's going to have a use, so that'd be amazing. And uh, and then we've got our alchemy lab down here. Get your portions on there and. 
ingredients in there and portions in here and uh yeah need more regen portions though let's change your name oh that needs a lid on it Right, so since it's daytime and actually it's getting nighttime, which is a shame. <laughs> Probably should have given the tour at night, but never mind. Uh, right, okay. So yeah, this is what I'm building. And uh, it's going to be like, I don't know how long we're going to get up here. Some steps probably up. And this is going to be the doorway. And you walk in here. These are going to be the, the, the um, what are they called again? The seats? Yeah, I can't remember what they're called. Pyres, no. Yeah, I can't remember. But you know what I mean. The church seats. The benches. And then this is going to be like a tower that goes up. It's going to be like a bell tower kind of thing. And the priest is going to stand here. I'm going to try and make a little um, area where stand up. I don't know. Uh, how's that going to work? I don't know. I'll, I'll sort something out. And hopefully, it'll, you know, uh, yeah, that'll work well. Um, why are there no... I should better stay away from there, actually. So, yeah, that's the plan. But it's night time, so I'm scared. So, um, aye, so that's the plan. Um, I'm just wondering whether to make it out of cobble or not. I think I want to make the whole thing out of... Um, hmm. High void. I think I'm going to make the whole thing out of stone. Stone brick. That's what I'm tempted to do. So yeah, I've, I've, I've got the basic shape laid out, and I'm pretty sure this works. Pretty sure this works. I don't know. Hopefully. stone I don't know how high this is going to be as well is very high and if I drop into that water you know the squid's down there somewhere um, I probably should have had that box up in here I put the box down there with all the shit in it um, this
The town's fairly safe as well. I don't often see nasties in the town. Um, so that's quite good. I, do, I don't feel safe enough to go AFK. I mean, obviously, as you can hear, the spiders. Come on, then. Punk scumbag. Come on. Come on. But, uh, yeah, on the whole, the town is pretty safe. Just not safe enough to go AFK. Uh, no, no one's joining uh, as, uh, as uh, that I know. And yes, I am building a church. Uh, you can stop spiders spawning by lighting up the area. Um, so yeah, I uh, the title of this video does say building a church, doesn't it? I I did set the title to that. I'm not sure if it's updated or not, but it should have done. So, it's a church, anyway. FYI. Ah, it does, does it? Ah, oh, yeah, all right, you bloody idiots. Ah. Right, okay. Huh. Don't like building too high in the dark. Just, I just don't like it. squids down there you know as well I'm petrified it's a new moon as well so it's literally like it's gloom all hour right this bell tower will be going obviously taller than everything else I I'm not going to make the church too high because it's a small church it's a modest church I don't want it to be like ridiculously uh, overshadowing everything else but you know at the same time I do want it to kind of be a beacon in the middle of the town so to speak um, and it's not up to the level of that yet <laughs> I mean I suppose that's more of a beacon or that even than anything else and uh, the church tower is probably not going to be as high as that um, but we'll we'll see we'll see I don't want to build into uh, gloom as well. That's something. Oh, that's something else. Ah. It's getting gloomy. It's getting gloomy. Right. I think I'll have to wait till daytime. I reckon. But uh, oops, I'm lagging. There we go. Okay. I think that's definitely high enough for the roof to be put on there. Um, and then that can go further. But uh, yeah, this, this might even be a bit too high for the roof. I don't know. We'll see. Getting light now, anyway. Oh. 
Now, I void, come on in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty high building like. All right, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. Oh, look at them squids. Fucking look at them jumping up. Fucking bastards, eh? Fucking bastards. If I jumped off here, they'd probably attack us because I'd uh, I'd gone right under the water. Right. Okay, now let's get down here and have a look outside. That's that's uh that's all right. Gonna have a look at it from the uh from ye old storage roomy. Because we do like to look out this window. Oh, it does kind of. Well, there's not much of a view to block, is there? Really, so that's that's all right. The tower's gonna go further up, probably to about there. Might bring the roof down slightly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Might get a bit more. Uh, might need a bit more spruce wood. Probably just that much, to be honest. I'm going to chop that in half. Actually, uh, I'm going to leave that as it is. Actually, hmm. no, I'm going to take that. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm just going to chop these in half. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, you can't... Uh... Saying that though, there are no... Uh... Um, there's not really many zombies around here. And I'm just building. So... Yeah. Alright, okay. Let's hide them in there for now. Because um... I want to make some steps with that, I think. Gonna need some dirt actually for build for um, scaffolding. Hi, mad bag lady. Haven't got much dirt left. What was I using the dirt for again? I took a load of dirt the other day and I can't remember why. Oh, I built the hill <laughs> that the church is sitting on. I used like shit loads of dirt that hill. Surprising. It's not a very big hill, but it's surprising how much dirt you go through to make a hill like that. I went through almost the full double chest worth. Right. I'm going to build the... Uh, actually, I'm going to get some more... Ooh. Don't have any more. Oh, you can recombine these now. He, he added this. Uh, he added this in in a, in a later later patch. There you go. You can recombine them back into the blocks, which is great. I love that. It's not quite finished, no. And the church is going to house the this the priests. Yes, that's that's correct.
enough. I think this will be high enough. I think this will be high enough, yeah. And this has to come out. Yeah, this will have to. Okay. <laughs> oh. Damn it, man. Right. I think this is high enough, personally. Uh, so let's get some dirt there just so I don't fall off the edge. Right. Uh, I'm just building as I go along. I haven't planned it at all. I've got a kind of an idea in my head of how I kind of want to look. And I am using a little bit of inspiration from another uh, church I've seen before. That looks about right, I think. I'm going to just get back into the house and have a look. Yeah, basically, um, the guy who makes it, Flower Child, he's um, he's been away for a while, um, modding for Kerbal Space Program. So he kind of got, you know, you know, as you do, you get like kind of sick of the game and whatnot, and he got a bit jaded with the the mod itself, and he's been modding another game, and then um, and then recently came back and he made an update for it. So that's kind of sparked everyone's interest in playing again, including mine. I've looked at the the update and I've been like, ooh, I want to play now. I almost started a new world because like all the changes he made were to um were to early game. And I was like, ah, oh, it sounds like you know, he's he's made a few kind of cool changes and I was like, I wanna play, but in early game. It made us want to play early game again, basically. But um Void Mage cried his eyes out, um, so we decided not to, <laughs> nah, <laughs> Void was upset, like, he was like, he was crying, he was, he was devastated, um, but we thought more about it, and we kind of figured, nah, it's not worth it, we've done a lot in this world, we do want to continue with this world, there's things we want to do, so we decided to uh, stick with it, and uh, so yeah, we're not going to delete this world, we're not going to start again or anything. But uh, it was touch and go for a while. We did nearly start again. It's just because partly, partly because of the changes to early game that Flower Child made, and partly because me and Liquid have never really been happy with this area um, since very early on. So that was it was kind of part part of the reason for want to start New World. Well, I know you wouldn't, uh, Morgan. I mean, you weren't even. Uh, you weren't even on the server uh, when we were talking about starting again anyway, so it wouldn't have even affected you, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're not going to anyway. We're not going to. We're going to keep it. Um, to be honest, Bruno, um, even if he did finish it, he, he's not adding much more to the to the mod anyway. The mod is largely finished. Um, yeah, the mod's largely finished, so it, there's only a couple of things he needs to ch to, to do. So, aye. Right, um, I need some steps. I'm going to make a workbench for in here. And I'm going to put them down as well. And uh, So, we've got that up there. Um, let's make the roof for this. Fucking roofs, I hate them. I'm going to have to get some more ladders first so I can get up there, probably. Which yeah, the, the the mod is literally, you know... Uh, uh, yeah. Hi. 
Um, yeah, the mod is, you know, pretty much perfect as it is. It doesn't need any more added, just, you know, so it's fine. Just building the church. It's going quite well, actually. I'm using um, Corrales' church as a kind of inspiration. Well, a little bit. Actually, yeah, a little bit. A couple of the things I'm kind of thinking, doing similar, but um, yeah, it's largely standard church. All right. Um, This is just to. This is just temporary. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know why I even said that. Obviously, it's temporary. Right. Okay. So, if I start with uh, steps. Down there, so I do. I so I go. I'm probably thinking of doing it from further down. So I think we start starting like that, and then oh, I did. Okay. Put like that in the middle. Two steps up. Yeah. I can't get up. <sighs> I'm scared up here. So that doesn't go there. Liquid is connected. Bye, liquid. Liquid connected. Liquid moved in from Nesha's corner by the server. Bye, Liquid. Yeah. I think that's an alright roof. You know what? Yes, it is. I think we'll do it. Okay. Um... We're going to build it and see how it looks. If we need to change something, then we're going to change it. But I, to be honest, I think this is going to be all right. This is a roof similar to the one Corrales made on uh, a church he built. Oh. 
I've got an quit rumble. Connected. Hello. Uh, can you hear me this uh, time? Yep. Yep. Can hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've been talking to myself this whole fucking time. Well, that's that's really loud. You're really loud. Did, did you adjust your mic volume at all? Not at all. Okay. I'll check. I'll, I'll lower the amplification. Hang on. Uh. I think you might have turned it up. Maybe. No. The planet side. Uh. Oh God, I'll check. Oops. No, it's on half. It normally, it's on half the volume. It's all right. I've, uh, I'll turn it down a bit. It's all right. Okay, cool. Ah, right. Oh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, didn't think about that. Odd sides. Never mind. We'll solve that problem later. Uh, right. Are you going to have a cross on the top of this church? Yeah, probably. Right, okay. Yeah, the ancient manuscripts are high. Hi, Karen. Hi, Stormcrow. No, I didn't fix the crashes. Oh, that's a shame, Michael. The Crucible... You don't like the Crucible, eh? Well, the thing is, though, with the Crucible, it doesn't really matter. Like, the RNG to get less iron doesn't really matter because you make a mob trap, so you end up with unlimited iron anyway, so there's no real point in, in having it like that. If you know what I mean. We need some steps. Did we agree to put the librarians in the enchanting building? Yeah. Then what's the third building that was screwing here? I can't remember. Butchers. Oh, aye. Aye, uh, butchers. Right, okay. Um, Void Mage went in here, or, um... Infernal and chatted today, and he got scared. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He went in, he was like, holy shit, like, what's going on? And I was like, I oh, know, exactly. Well, it's so, nowhere near finish, like. No, I know, I told him that as well. You are still too loud. It's like hurting me ears. Let's turn you right down. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, and uh, that would go there. That would go there. And then that would go there. That would go there. Uh Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happened over here. So that on there. That there. That there. And then that, that, and that. So that that stone bit is <laughs> that stone bit's raised. I don't know how we're gonna do the end. Oh yeah, I do. We'll just yeah yeah wing it and shit. That's fine. Uh, we'll bring that. Oh, cap it actually. Yeah, and do that. Cap that, and then, and that, and that, yeah. that, that, and that. Move that there, like that. Is that right? No, I haven't done that like that. I've done it differently. Hold on. There. Um. Right, 
but then what we do is uh oh <laughs> church with a cross in it yay There we go. Um, right, and then we work further along. And hopefully it'll it'll work like that as well. So, so how this is going to work like this. <coughs> Hi, Brimwalt. Hi, Looping. I'm good, thanks. It would matter for diamond tools, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like the crucible. I, I kind of see what you mean. Um, I kind of see your point in a way. It does... It can feel a bit cheaty, I guess. But, um... You know, tough shit. <laughs> Basically. There's a few people said that before, I think, uh, and he's just been like, no, it's not, it's fine, because of the effort you have to go in to get it. It's kind of progression to the next part of the game, so it's, yeah, it's fully acceptable. Um, This is where it gets a bit complicated. You guys got that in there. I suppose it doesn't have to be complicated. We can just accept it and just be like, Bosh, have it! Oh, that doesn't... Oh, uh, we'll, we'll sort that out later. We'll sort that out later. Let's get the roof done. And then we'll sort out all the problems there with it afterwards. this should go this way. Oh goodness, that's, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> this roof, eh, fucking roofs man eh, roofs. Boo hiss. Singing's awesome. Hi, Majestic. Oh, I've got Percy Pigs. But I've got, like, it's not Pers Percy Pigs, it's Percy Family. Percy Pigs Family. You still there, Liquid? Yeah. Uh, I thought you might not have been able to talk again. <sighs> Percy Families. So... You've got Percy's family mix. <laughs> oh, I love how I'm basically just the spokesperson for Percy Pigs. So you get Percy Pig, the original and best. Mm. But then you got little piglets, little piglets inside as well. It's like meet the whole family and devour them. That's basically what it's saying. So you've got pink piglets. You've got white piglets. You've got um, a darker pink piglet somewhere. Brown piglet, I think. You've got the entire multiracial pig family. So, you could even eat Percy pigs racistly if you wanted to. Like, you could throw away all the pink ones and just eat the white ones. And be like, yeah, bitch. It says, 
come and meet Percy's new piglets. And I feel like it should basically say and devour them in front of him. So you can have like Percy. Yeah, let's set up a little scenario here. I'm going to adjust the camera. Hang on. So you. Hang on, can we. Uh... There we go. Right. So you can have like Percy here. He's going to be like sitting there at the, at, the, at the table at the front, you know. And he's going to be like, ah, I'm Percy. And like, you know. I'm a dad. Just just a dad, yay. Yay, look at me. Like, I've got me kids here. It's going to be like, you're right, kids. Like, you know, you, you, the way in the, of the world is that there are human predators out there and they will come and they'll try and eat you. But what you got to do is you just got to live your life, eat your grass, roll in your shit, and just enjoy it, basically. Even you, pink one. And the pink one's going to be like... Dad, what happens if the humans get their hands on us? This is fucking he's gonna tragic. Be like, it's fine, it's great, man. And he's going to be like, it's all right, kid. It'll be all right. And then basically what happens is a human comes along and just goes, mmm. And then starts munching. And his pig is like, oh, yeah, I'm being munched. And the, and the pig was like, what's going on, daddy? <laughs> and he's like, son, close your eyes, don't look. And then... And then what the human will do is, because the sadistic fuckers, you let the white one get away like this, so he'd be like running back, going, Daddy, Daddy, I got away! And he'd be like, No, nah, I don't think so, mate, young. And he's like, ah. And then it's like, and this goes on side, inside the bag. So when it says on the side, saying, You know, uh, come and meet Percy's new piglets, it really means it. It's traumatic for everyone involved. I'm not going to lie to you. And then you eat the pink one just to. Just to make them, just to make the dad like be all alone. Yeah, it's devastating, really. It destroys families, pig families. But what do you meant to do? I mean, I paid for them. Get to the chopper. <coughs> to the mine. I don't know how he's following us because I'm not even streaming on Twitch. So there we go. So that's the story of Percy Pigs, basically, and that's what happens. And uh, I, I fully believe that that's what happens when, you, when, when you're when you not looking at the bag. Like a Toy Story kind of scenario. Anyway, um, what are we doing? I want to get the uh, thing back on, don't we? Right, let's continue that along there. Trouble is, we're going to have to push this out a bit because this comes out a bit. That's the problem. One more. I'm gonna eat the dad actually. He's dead. Put him up his misery. They're so good though. Get to well, the you chopper! Mm. Seriously, I'm gonna disable that. What's the point? Hmm? The new follower thing. I'm getting new followers on Twitch for some reason. Right. Your mother clearly took it out of context. I mean, you can't just have someone coming at the room there who doesn't know who I am and just start going, what the hell is he doing talking about pigs in a bag? Right. What do we do here with this? That's the, that's the problem. Oh, we take it down lower. That's all we do, I think. I think. Like so, I'll take this away. Maybe. See how that looks. <laughs> Mummy's white too. Why am I pink? <laughs> yeah. Right. That might need to be double. That's three. That's four. Ah, this needs to be stone. So like... I hate building roofs. Right, there we go. So that works. I think. I'll have to see. 
Uh, but this, by a similar token, that needs to be stone. And that can be like that as well. That can probably go up there. But then that'll come up here. I know my my vocabulary becomes very limited when I'm building because I'm concentrating on building. I can't do two things at once, I'm a man. So you have to forgive us. But I think that's going to work, actually. I think that roof might end up working. I mean, it's certainly going to be good enough. I mean, I think the like when we when we do come back and start playing properly again, I think the 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 motto of the of the general world slash stream is going to be, I think that's good enough. Because I am in no mood to be you know, finicking about for like an hour on what the floor should be made out of and, you know, where this block should go and all that bullshit. So, yeah. Because that's what basically just drives us to leave the game in the first place. <laughs> Shit like that, so. Well, it's ugly inside, but that's that's fine. That can be tidied up later. Uh, what else? Oh, okay. Just keep going. Hi, medic. Did I put the thing in? Oh, I did, okay. Right, okay, so the tower... Basically that, that width. Is that right? Is that going to come out like that? Um, it's hard to see. Nope, that's not right. That's not going to work very well at all either. Um, oh, no, no, it will, because it'll go up. Ah, uh, that'll match. Oh, this is going to go out the other way anyway, isn't it? Um, so that if it works anyway so the idea being that uh, the roof goes in the opposite direction on this side so it goes slopes up like that maybe uh, I'll have to see <coughs> hi Frankie I'm just going to have to start there like that I think let's just see if this works then it's E. E. Oh, that's worked. <laughs> right, and then one more up. Oh, 
logs. Does that take us out of the center? Oh, it does. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. That's great. Oh, I'm glad that does that. Okay. This could be a problem though. Well, it's not really a problem because we just continue that in there. Fuck it. There we go. Problem solved. And then just uh, bring that along like that. That along in there, like that. Boosh! Oh, yeah. oh, I'm loving not giving a shit. It's great. It actually looks alright. And then this side can do something similar. Is that in there? Uh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't look perfect, but it's literally. It's that's that's the way it's going to be. So that's fine. And then this way has got to be the same. It's going to have to have that like that. But it, the tower is going to be there. Uh, All right, okay, let's... Oh, oh, sugar. This side's a double stone. Oh. I don't think I care. No. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, we've got to fix it somehow. How about if I... It's not our real names. Um, Mac's name is Mac because it's short for Mackham, which is kind of the Sunderland word for Geordie. Like, so, like, Geordie is to Newcastle what Mackham is to Sunderland. And he shortened it to Mack, and that was his name he used online uh, when he used to play a lot of online game. Well, online game and, like, you know, Quake and stuff like that. My name is, uh, it kind of comes from my surname, which I'm not going to tell. Um, and it's one of my mates in uh, in school. 
uh, basically came came about. So that uh, Mesh was actually my nickname in school when I was a kid. Uh, and then I stopped using it when I went to university, but I kept it for online. So all the way from uh, from uh, I think from when I was about thirteen until I was uh, nineteen, my nickname was Mesh. Everyone called me <laughs> Mesh. So yeah, it's quite strange when I think about it now. I suppose. Right. Okay. this be coming out more I don't know it's tough to tell because that's the tower that that's supposed to go down there this is kind of a tough I've built this in a silly way Like everyone guessing my uh, name is funny, my surname it goes down one more, but that's not even going to work because that's two across. That's there. That's not even going to work. Don't be stupid. All right, this has to be wood. All right, let's just do this out of wood then. Get it done. Just realise I've got the music turned off. Are you working on your infernal library? Yeah, I'm changing the floor of the bottom. Ah, all right, cool. <coughs> Surname is the last name. What Nurak Farquad? It was weird for me at first as well. Like I was used to being called Mesh, and then when I went to university, I wanted to kind of get rid of that nickname. So I had everyone call me um, by my first name, and I said, uh, "I said because a couple of my friends from college actually went to my same university, so I basically took them all aside and I said, "Look, you're gonna have to call me by me me surname, uh, me uh, first name, because I don't want to be known as uh, Mesh in uni." Like right, and some of them could never do it. They were just like, "I no, I can't." <laughs> so I was like, "Do it, do it, get to the chopper." And they were like, "No."
that's where the cross would go and then I'll have like half slabs going along here don't know what to do about this though um, I mean this looks alright I think I think that's I mean barely acceptable but unacceptable kinda no wait that should be wood that's better That that literally is gonna be okay. I think. I think. <laughs> Unless I. No, no, no. But this side is a bit different, and this side is different to this side. I mean, hey, I tell you what, the roof of this place, um, liquid, is not symmetrical in the slightest. Stop. It's the most unsymmetrical roof I've ever made. It's crazy. I need to get down here and have a look from the ground. It's crazy. You'd probably twitch. Farquad, yeah, it's Shrek, I. Yeah, that's that's where it is. Farquad, yeah. Lord Farquad, I. Yeah, I need to watch that actually. Oh, no, actually, first name backwards, right? Okay, freak. Right. Oh, so that kind of looks a bit weird. Um, but if I bring that out, it might be too bad. Okay, I'm going to go up here and have a look. Nope, aye, that's right. It's not too bad. I want a window there though, really, ideally. Uh, let's replace the bottom of these dirt places because that's starting to get distracting. It's all right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's continue working on the tower. Uh, we're gonna need some more uh, stuff. We need some more of these steps as well. Let's make some more. <laughs> yeah, did get killed in XCOM, it was hilarious. Yeah, um, I, 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 can't, I don't know whether to grow the beard or not for winter. I'm tempted. Um, I don't know. Have to see how I feel. The beard's an arse on. It's maintenance. And then food gets stuck in it. And you need to actually dry it. So you have to end up actually drying your face. Like when you get out of the shower. And when you brush your teeth. And when you wash your face. You've got to actually dry your face rather than just dab it with a towel and then you're done if you've you, it actually you, your beard's wet 
and, it, and that's that annoys me because then like it's, I'm not used to it, so I like I'll I'll dump my face. I'm like there we go, and then like your beard's dripping. I'm like oh man, it's wet. I've got to like dry it like you dry your hair, and I'm like ah oh, I can't be asked with this shit, and then I just shave it off. So that's the uh, yeah, that's kind of what I. It's the turmoil I go through. Literally the definition of a first world problem, but still. And yeah, Percy Pigs get stuck in there as well, definitely. Well, I think that's what I did last year. Like, I I, um, I started growing it for November. And just didn't stop until, like, February. <laughs> so it was like... Mm. Mm. I've got uh, I've got some scissors to trim it like uh, I bought some scissors like what, last year when I was growing it um, they're good Japanese Japanese scissors they're like super sharp it's like mini samurai swords Right, so this is the square of the tower. I don't think I need to go any higher than this. Well, I'll leave it there like that. I'm gonna... Right, that's it. That's what I want. That's what I'm missing. I want that there. Which means I have to do something with that, but that's maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Right, and then. Ah, right, and that's the, the problem there, because this side's narrower than that side. But we'll make it work, hopefully. Hopefully it'll not cause too many problems. Um. Right, so this this is a good this is a good side look good height. You can see on top of the trap. Uh, we can see a rat, pretty much the whole town from here. So this will be canny to make a little floor out of. So if I like uh, I don't know do God, the trouble with my stream is that it's full of Scots. That's an indirect quote of Braveheart. The trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. I love Braveheart, you know. I'm gonna have to watch it. I've got there's a uh, there's a lass at work who's Scottish, and I keep taking the piss out of her accent. And I know it's the cliche thing to do, but she loves it. She thinks it's hilarious. And uh, and I keep calling her a wee Jimmy. Because she hates no a wee jobby, <laughs> wee jobby. Because <laughs> uh, for those that you don't know, the jobby is a Scottish word for a uh, pile of shit. And it, I mean, because I found a website with a load of uh, Scottish insults on it, and so I, I went into work and I was saying them all to her, and it was funny because it was a busy shift, so she was kind of distracted, so it looked like she was just getting pissed off, and uh, and then and then I was calling her wee jobby and. Uh, and she hate, she hated she hates that word um and i was like but it's not even a major word like i was like there was far more ones and that there was like there was a scottish for like like a like a, a cunt and stuff like this it was calling you all kinds it was basically all they had an explanation you know and the, some of the explanations were pretty horrific and then jobby was just like a pile of shit and she was just getting more cringed by the jobby thing than anything else and she was like no it was just like that's just me it's like 
Um, I cringe when I hear that word, and I was like, all right, fair enough. So now it's just like all the time. I'm just like, ah, yeah, we Joby. And it's just like, oh my God, no, stop. And I'm just like, hey, what's the matter, you wee Joby? All right. And, uh, so yeah. But I'm, I'm doing so many impressions now that I'm actually becoming quite good at a Scottish accent. So that's been quite a, a funny side effect. And I don't know whether to move this across or not. I'm literally tempted to do that, you know, move this in. Because that would then solve the problem of all of this nonsense. So it would be that. Like that. Yeah, you mad rocket. I bolt your rocket. Bolt your rocket. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to get rid of that though, which I don't really think I want to do. Can't get away with that though. That's just wrong. Um, I'll remove it and see. Hey, you wee jobby, hey. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's see if we can get away with this. Ah, no. Ah, no, the squids. Oh, I wonder if I could just, like, get away with just having it up to there. And then taper it off. Ah, oh, that might work. Ah, oh, that would probably work actually. Yeah, that would probably work. I mean, hey, what's the motto? It'll do. Ah, right, back in the old Minecraft. Can I do an Irish accent? Not very well. Certain words I can, certain phrases I can kind of do, but not many. Some people think I'm Irish. So certain things I say, apparently I sound a bit Irish. Um, but generally, nah. I do uh, a South African accent sometimes, like because uh, I do impressions of uh, District Nine, and uh, there was a lot of it used. I used to work with. And uh, he he started doing it. He was like, oh, District 9, the guy from District 9. And I was like, oh. Uh, and, he, and he started doing it. Someone started doing it or something. And he, he was talking about it. And, I, and, I, and then I started seeing the accent. And uh, he was he found it hilarious. So I used to do it all the time to him. And uh, Because he, used, he, he was so impressed by it. I mean, I don't think it's that good. He was so impressed by it that he used to basically, because he, he was one of the bartenders. And he used any customers that came in that, and if it ever went on the subject of um, accents, he'd mention me and say, "Oh, um, he can do a great, um, a great uh, uh, South African accent." And I was like, oh, "But all I can do in the South African accent is quotes from <laughs> District Nine. So I end up saying to customers, "I'm like, you fucking pro men, are you fucking pro?" <laughs> So I'm like, can we come into your house, man, and look at your computer? And uh, and and the and the cus obviously you have to have the right customer because you know you're not supposed to swear. But uh, but uh, yeah, the customer would just be like, "What are you saying? You fucking poor man. You fucking poor. What what is your son doing, man?" And uh, it was so funny because you just you can't have a right laugh, like. But um, yeah, you know. Right, I'm going to continue with this tower anyway and get this done. <coughs> Day, you wee jobby. <laughs> right, now I can build this symmetrical. I see, I just put a 
I don't know what to put there. Actually, might have to. No, how can we do this? change something the way a mob spawn which it depends on the mobs uh, yeah me and liquid have made all of these yeah ten creepers no he hasn't changed anything like that that's just unlucky Ah, come on. Hi, Bruce. That's not. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, A nice view of the town. Ah, you get a nice open view of the town with that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, right, then we'll need some. I'm going to need a load of half slabs because I'm going to make. Oops. Oh well. going to be a stairway up. It's not going to be a ladder because, you know, we're not hobos. We're sophisticated gentlemen. And sophisticated gentlemen take the stairs. Yeah, I'm using a PC.
bit of a shame. Ah, I've got a better idea. Uh, not the right place to put it. Are they all on a half slab there? Ah, oh, they are. Okay, I've got a better idea then. Just... trap door there. Go. Good. And then, uh, windows. Hell yeah. Don't know if I could do another one there. No, <laughs> that's not normal at all, but, you know, there's certain areas been spawned for quite a while, so witches, they can wander. Yeah, that looks all right. What have we got on this side? Just one there, but that's okay. French people. Ugh. <laughs> right. Uh, that. Ah, does that look. I'm going to go back in the house and have a look and see what it looks like from back here. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe some kind of wider roof on top of the tower. church looks very narrow and that tower looks very wide hmm it's not the best looking church in the world but you know <laughs> what's the motto <laughs> it'll do nah I'll have a look and see 
I've got these half slabs anyway. I'm going to put them on the roof up there. Um, um, realistically speaking, we're never really going to go up in that tower, so I might just, yeah, I'm. I'll just put windows in the top, I think. Aye. Right. Um, a lot of time, Hayden. Quite a few hours. I don't know. I'd like to have, like... I don't know. The ability to tell how long we've been playing for. In this one world. But I don't think there's any way of knowing, really. Oh well, yeah. Well, oh well, no days. I mean, obviously, you know, we've been, we've been, we've been on this for months. But I just mean like in terms of how many hours we've been playing in this world total. But um, yeah, we, we've, you know, we've, yeah, this is this is months of work. This like been playing for ages. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm just going to continue those pillars up the side of that and uh, block that off. Maybe put some kind of a uh, uh, big cross in the middle using a uh, cobblestone. Like cobblestone fence, uh, cobblestone wall even. Piece of diamond in it. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But that'd be quite funny if it did that. Uh, right, isn't there. I need some mossy stone. I'm gonna replace some of this. Have you got all the mossy stone, by the way? Liquid? I don't think so. I haven't really used any. Have you not? I just thought you might have. Like, the mossy stone brick? I don't, yeah, I don't think so. You. No. You can check the uh, chest outside the thing if you want. Yeah. I just couldn't find it, that's all. I haven't looked heavily for it. I still haven't made the water room, that's all. Um, where we can actually make the mossy... You know where I made the, uh, the stone brick? Yeah. Cracked stone brick. Yeah, yeah, I got a few guys in. How long has Morgan been on the server? Um, I don't know, a week, a few days. I'm not sure. That's a lot of deaths. Well, he's new to the game. He hasn't played better than was before. Um, he's watched all the streams. I think he had a bit of a mess, a bit of a mess of a round. You know, uh, Void Mage is up to 77 deaths. Is <laughs> Yeah. He's up to 77. What a loser. I don't know if he's still on the, uh, if he's still on the chat. Uh, 
<laughs> no, it's a private server, I'm afraid. The members have been vetted and re-vetted and vetted again. A week. A week. What's the secret of a mob trap? Put one in the base of one of my buildings, cluster three, but it barely spawns anything. Uh, well, the, the mob trap, you just have to... Uh, I mean, you have to be further than 24 blocks away from it. Otherwise, nothing spawns. Um, I mean, you can see our trap. That's a, uh, you know, ours is it's fairly big. I think it's five stories high. That's our, that's our spawning area there. Um, and uh, we have, like, I think it's four by four pads with a... Uh, a, a two wide trough in between them so you can see the pads that like so where it's indented that's where the pad is to spawn so you'd imagine like a four by four cobblestone square on the ground and then that's the trough there that they fall through so it's a two wide trough and then another four by four pad and then another two trough and another four by four pad so you basically end up by three pads by three pads so nine pads per floor which are four by four on each pad so, you know, you do 16 times 9, and that's how many blocks you've got on each floor that are spawning. And then between those pads, you've got the two, two wide trough for them to fall down. But you've got to uh, you use vine traps. Don't know how it works on vanilla, but you use vine traps to, so they walk off freely. So, yeah. There's a mag. I can't go into the trap because it's a. Uh, I can't go into the spawn trap because all the mobs are in there and I'll get killed. Um. So, um, so yeah, you got that. I'm not using TeamSpeak, I'm using Mumble. Actually, if I go to the top of the, uh, the top of the church, I think you can see the, uh, spawn pads. I better put some, uh, torches down in here temporarily. Oh shit is gonna be spawning. The top of the trap is just old stone, isn't it? No, it's not. No, you can't, it's no. You, you can't see it very well. Uh, actually, I'll go at the top of the windmill. It's easy to see from there. No, I left it dirt because um, on the off chance that we, you know, never, we, you never know, we might end up extending it, but we're not gonna. Let's be honest. Um, Uh, yeah, so I haven't done it, and there's nowhere in the town really that's high enough to see on top of it, except obviously now. Uh, this is a windmill, but we never really go up there. Um, right, let's have a look. Did notice that there was a ladder there that bugged me today. Right, there you go. There's a good view for you. All the, uh, that grace basically goes all the way through the trap. So the cobble is where they spawn. We've even got the 2 by 2s in there because we realised we didn't need them. And the dirt is where we have vine traps. So the cobble's where they spawn and then, the, and then they fall through the vine traps. And it goes all the way down. And then there's water on the bottom. And they fall into the water. And they get pushed down at the corner. And then pushed down to that little area that you just saw there. Which is where they get chopped up in the, uh, on the saws. See you later, Mike. <coughs> but yeah, it's, it's a closed server, I'm afraid, so. And we need to sort out all this. There, yeah, they, get, they get pushed down into here. And they get killed in there. And the drops go down and get pushed down into these hoppers. And that's where we can collect them, so like... We've got there's all the rotten flesh and the arrows from the skeletons. You got the bones as well and the creeper oysters. You got string from the spiders. There's all the iron from uh, from the zombies. There's all the bows and there's a more bows. I'm gonna throw some of these out actually because we don't need them.
I'll have to put my texture pack in the uh, in the description. You nearly died again. It doesn't work, James. It's uh, I'm not on Twitch. Yeah, that's that's the other thing that I miss from Twitch, I suppose. It doesn't work. It's part of the Better Than Wolves mod. That's the mod we're using on this on this game. It's called Better Than Wolves. And it's awesome. It's awesome source. Kids still say that, don't they? Awesome source? Do they? No? Is that old? Is that old news now? Right. Right, I'm going to change that tower because uh, it looks ugly from a distance. That's you, Liquid, right? Yep. Right, I thought so. Oh, and this as well. This needs uh, blocking off. Um... some uh, half slabs no I don't I want full, full blocks put a window here why the hell not eh Right, um, right up the tower. Right, so I'll take these away because it looks shit from a distance. It really does. I mean, this is not. It's a, no, a lovely. It's you get a lovely view out of here, three hundred and sixty degree view of the town, but it just looks horrible from a distance. So I'm gonna uh, continue these up instead. ladders So what did you mean when you said a bell tower? Yeah, I know the um, a tower with a bell in it. And that's not going to be yes, this, is. is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's what this was going to be. But then I kind of changed it into a into a uh, into a lookout into a kind of a you know a lookout tower. But then I've looked at it from a distance and it's ugly, so I'm gonna uh, I'm changing it back into a into a standard church kind of tower. It's just going to be a simple square tower. I need to uh, get some more stone though. How's the infernal thing coming along? It's fine, I mean... It's going to take a long time. Yeah. It's one of those things you can probably just come back to, I suppose. But it's all the bugs. I mean, it's all the... You know, it's going to take ages. What bugs? Well, the books for the library. Oh, books! All oh, right, I thought he said bugs. I'm like, what? Yeah, the books for the library. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, if you want, I, I didn't think really think of that to be honest. I've I've kind of stopped the cows, uh, but you might want to start them up again if you need the leather. Um, yeah, I'd start them up again if I was you. Uh, we've got 
Ah, I ground, I harvested the wheat and I ground it all up. So you might want to reharvest the wheat and then you can put them in there. They only eat wheat, don't they, the cows? I also traded with Void Mage as well. Um, I gave him six stacks of vine traps in return for um, three stacks of potatoes and carrots. So when we do come to make a potato and carrot farm, we can uh, fill the field rather than have to do what we did with the wheat. So, yeah. Wait, so... So even though we, we've essentially got carrots, we're still going to go out and find some and then just use the ones we've got. No, no. We already had carrots and potatoes, but we only had a couple. Whereas Void Mage has been growing them and we never got round to planting a farm. So I just basically traded three full stacks so we can just plant the full field when we do actually make the farm, you know? Yeah. I don't remember getting mm. both carrots and potatoes. Yeah, we did. Well, we got carrots first, and then we went out again. And we, when we found the, we find when we finally found the priest, um, there was potatoes as well. So we basically found ended up finding everything. So. No. Yeah. See you later, um, Tyler. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that other name, Leowen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, right, so if I just hide these on top of here, this might work. I'll look at least better than it did. Um, like that. that might just be better. This roof is annoying. Or, or even... Hmm. I know what it is, isn't it? You're just going to have to get off the roof. <laughs> That's You really are. It's, uh, no, th this is actually disgusting. This, this centre line here needs worry about to be me. in line with your tower. No, it doesn't. It does. It, does. it doesn't. It's fine. Why isn't it? Why isn't what? The centre line in line with the tower? I th this one. I don't know why it isn't. Yeah, yeah it should be one over, shouldn't it? Oh, the tower should be one over. But it's not, and I'm not changing it. Because, you know, it'll do. <laughs> no, it'll be alright, man. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, but I don't know why it's like that, though. Because it, it's, yeah, the, the tower is one over. Must have just been the way I built it. I think I just moved that down rather than having the tower, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, right, that's it. We found potatoes first and then we found carrots, finally. Yeah. That's another, that's, that's something. I, I haven't edited those GTA heists. I need to sort that out. Right, um, how am I going to get this? Have I told you about those extra there. missions for Lamar? Oh, shit. Yeah, you have. We, I haven't even done all the ones for Lamar that I don't think that I got anywhere. Like, we haven't, well, I haven't at least even been to speak to Trevor as part of the thing. I got a note, I got right. a thing to call to go to see Trevor, and I never bothered. Need to sort that out. But yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, with this, that line not being in line and all that stuff, not concerned. I'm really not concerned because at the end of the day, um, it's shit like that that's going to basically make us leave the game again. And uh, I'd rather not. There's there's more. There's other things I want to do in the game, and I don't want this to kind of, this kind of stuff to bog us down. Stuff that really just doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. go. Oh, shit. Let's see how that looks from a distance. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's big enough or what. I'm going to have a look, actually. Can I get it? Oh, God, that's too high. Is that too high? 
They get out on the roof. Oh no, there's squids there. Ah! Oh well, <laughs> that was lag. <clears throat> uh, that's, uh, that's not bad. I think it could be a little bit taller the, the cross. I mean, it needs to be illuminated. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be illuminated. I somehow maybe the the bottom block can be a um, glowstone. That's a puny cross. Do you remember my cross I in know. the last world? No. That massive colossus on top of the trap. Uh. No. On top of the trap. Which uh -huh. trap? The mob trap in our last world. Did I remove it? I think I, I knocked it down. I remember you hit it. Yeah, I cried, didn't I? I, th yeah. I? It rings a bell. I think I literally weeped like that Indian in Wayne's World. Aye. Um, but no, I don't remember it. I think I pretty much blocked it from my mind, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where the popcorn is. Right, so that uh, if I if I lift that, I mean maybe if I make the uh, cross out of uh, full blocks, then on there at least, and uh, full blocks and uh, steps, I might be able to make a another a better cross out of that. Uh, yeah. I'll see. I'll try and make one. But that tower's better than the other one, definitely. I'm quite. Quite happy with that. I mean, obviously, it's not finished because I need to go inside and put, I don't know, maybe a wall up. I don't know what it is. It's very that open. uniform. What um, do you mean, the tower? Yeah, it could do with sort of molding well, um, sized lips, maybe under the two uh, windows on the side or something. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I um, also, I'm going to take a few bricks out, like you know, do the whole missing brick thing. And I'll put some cracked bricks in, and uh, well, maybe a couple of cracked brick, but I'll put some mossy brick in as well because it is a church. So I don't know whether to keep this open or um, because the way I've done it, we could keep it open and have the view, most of the view of the uh, of the thing. Ah, oh, damn it! Um, I don't think there's much glowstone, but could you bring? I think there's a couple of bits, scraps of glowstone dust. In the uh, in the nether chest, I think I'm not sure actually. There might not no, there might not even be that. There's enough we for could... two glowstone. Right, things. right. Just bring enough for one, and uh, I'll put that down here. And hopefully that'll be all right. Um, right. Let's uh, see about this then. I'm making out a cobble still. could do that but it just looks boring is that not just boring where are you are you here yeah do you have to climb up inside uh yeah you have to go up the tower inside I and if you place the centre of the cross with the glowstone, that might look a bit better. Alright, All right. if you put the glowstone block in there, just to see if this is any better. I'm going to go check it out. No, 
well. I don't like the look with the glowstone in the centre, like. Doesn't look enough like a cross. But the cross is a... Uh, it's a better size, I suppose, but it's too... It's too blocky. How about you sort of make it... Um... I'm diagonal. wondering. No, I can't do a diagonal. That would be ugly as fuck. I'll, I'd like the, the cross to face the storage room because we do spend our time staring out of these windows. Oh, man. I want a toasty. Oh, actually, you know what? I got some fucking incredible bread today at Marks and Spencer's. It's the best bread ever. I've had it before, but yeah. Um, I don't know what you mean by a controller. I, I don't know what that is. So you guys talking about mind control and all this stuff. I don't know what that is, I'm afraid, so, yeah. I'm not going to put my pick in the crucible. Nah, I just use my picks until they're, they're gone, because uh, it's iron. We've got all the iron we need. Um, in fact, I'm just going to throw it away. I don't really... I'll just get another one out of the chest. What have I got here? I'm breaking two efficiency two. That'll, that'll do. Uh, yeah, we've, we've, I mean, I, I carry a stack of iron ingots around. That's how much iron we've got. We actually don't have loads. I used, um, I mean, obviously, um, you can see liquid. I used some iron uh, blocks in the um, blacksmith. And that was all the iron blocks we had. I've made eight more out of the stack of ingots that we had. But because we haven't done this trap sorting system, we don't actually have technically unlimited iron yet, I, suppose, I guess. Yeah. We've still got to manually kind of melt it down. And we're not really doing that much. Um so we'll have to, I mean, obviously when we, you know, do start playing properly and get really into it again, blah, 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 we'll do the trap sorting system. That's high on the agenda. But um, the top of the agenda is, are these villagers, uh, villagers buildings, including the church. Uh, yeah, I think I prefer it out of cobble because it's just to make it a different material. But I don't think, um, I don't think making it out of full blocks. Uh, they, that glowstone's got to come out the centre. That's the thing. Don't you like it? Nah. No. It, 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 the cross doesn't look like a cross. If you know what I mean. It looks like four blocks with glowstone in the middle. Weird. I don't know if Weight Rose is more fancy than M&S. I don't think so. I don't go there because it's fancy. I go there because it's good. Now the church is alright. It's a bit... It is a bit weird. Um, I think the roof is a bit high. But also, I don't think I'm going to change it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. What? <laughs> An F for fuck off. What are you doing? Make it a bigger cross. Ay. Too big. It's too big. I can tell you now, it's too big. I'm tempted to think we were. Uh, uh, I was closer with the uh, the fence. Use um. Oh, have you got any? You haven't got any cobblestone walls on you, have you? Uh, no. No, okay. I'm thinking maybe use the cobblestone walls, but um, put a full-size block in the centre of the cross. You know what I mean? <coughs> and anyway, we're getting onto this whole two-man building thing, which is already starting to frustrate us. I'd have left it as wall if you hadn't have said anything. Right. <laughs> and this is what I'm directly trying to avoid by coming back because 
this is the kind of thing we'll spend an entire four and a half hour stream building a church and it'll not be done right let us put uh... what is that cross by the way what cross like the, it's, it's just a just a symbol it's like a cross but it's got a hole in the middle just like that basically I don't know I don't know is it some kind of Irish like I don't know Gaelic kind of thing is it, is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, maybe make the cross out of wood, though. Oh, I can't. Because not if I'm using the fences. The walls, even. Oh, shit, never mind. That might... No, I think that'll be shit. That doesn't work at all. I don't think. Does it? Can I just like put some dirt and just back up so I don't have to go back to the friggin house? It's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. And then if I put like well, this would, this bottom block could be the glowstone, I suppose. What's it like if you put another fence in the middle? Fence. Another, another. Oh, yeah. you mean, well, that's what I had before. Oh right. There, yeah. I think that's all right. They're all all right. One more fence on each side, you reckon? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to go up one as well. Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, yeah, I would, actually. Right. Uh, I'm not convinced. Nah, that's ugly as fuck. <laughs> no, it has to be. It has to be. No, I can't have one more on either side. That no, that this kind of this the wall kind of cross shape doesn't work if you make it too wide. I don't think it's got to be this or made out of something else. I like I like that. I think that's all right. And you know what? It'll do. <laughs> I really think the motto needs to be employed here. It's not massive. I'm wondering if uh, if I take, if the answer is to take these side things down and then slope it up more. I wonder. I'm thinking a Celtic cross. Not really a pagan symbol. Oh well, there you go. Aye. Fair enough. Right. Um, so you know what I mean though, the, you know, the, the corner bits, take them down one, slope them up, and then slope the middle bits up more. Is there is? Aye. Okay, I'm going to try it, because that's the only way of really knowing, isn't it? How about you make, the, instead of it being flat, you make it like a point? Well, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Right. So if I slope these up a bit, and then uh, maybe slope these up to the middle, like that, not that that's going to really be seen much. I think you should make it just a pyramid on the top with a little stone lip going around the sides. I don't know about a pyramid. Because church towers aren't generally that shape. Uh, oh! <laughs> if I fell off here, I think I could die. That's certainly death height. There, like this. Or maybe even down one more. Like, uh... Like that, and then that could, like, slope up the side like that. I'll do it from this... Oh, shit. Um, I don't know. Oh, 
I'm building a church. His church was built from scratch, yeah. Of course it was. I mean, how else is it going to be built? Right, I'll just do this side for now, just see what that's like. And I'll have to come down and check it out. <laughs> I think I prefer the tower more square. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I think I prefer the tower more square. I'm using my own. It said John Smith's texture pack, but it's base. It's uh, it's got a lot of my own tweaks in it. Yeah, it it's looks not. Like it's a big needle. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> it does look like a big needle. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not fantastic. And I think I prefer it square. Yeah, I prefer it square. I prefer it more square. It's more like, because newer churches, I suppose, are more of a point to the tip, but older churches are more square. Like all the chapels and stuff. I think the towers are more square, and I think I'm spending far too much time worrying about the the details of the thing, so I'm going to make it square and call that sorted, and then work on detail. It looks like Batman. <laughs> If you do it square, I think you should go out by one. Up by one? Out by one. Like to make the top block wider. Oh yeah, I might do. I mean, but that, that's that's detail. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll sort that out after. Uh, these go back up. Like that. Yeah. Oops. Jesus Christ. I hate building it with I hate heights. Just had this pause for hours. It's like time travel. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Right, that's how it was before. Um, I could put these back down. Those like little. Oh. If I, uh, no, if I take these away and put torches in their place, they'll be largely hidden, but they'll light up the area. I'll probably replace them with glowstone once we go to the nether and get some more. Still there, Edward, or have you crushed? I'm still there, I'm gonna hop on well. Wow. Alright, no worries. <laughs> oh. 
No, I want a cheese toasty. I want a cheese and ham toasty with whole grain mustard. But yeah. I love them. Right, there we go. I like it. I like it. That's the church. That's it. That's the tower. Look at the moon in the background. Yeah, that's 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 a symbol. Yeah, the cross isn't Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Right, okay, so what now? Uh well the floor for a start inside needs to be uh sorted. And I need to get those pyre the pyres, aren't they? No. What are the ch what are the chairs in a church? Pews. Pews, that's it. Pews. Great. Pews. Need to get the pews set up. Um do that. I'll keep the mossy cup uh, mossy in there. I knew there was a word for them, I just couldn't remember what it was. Otherwise, I'd cut a hole in it. Did you make a hole in the side of the... Oh, yeah. Oh, you did. Right, okay. Just wondering if I did it. Got to have a proper foundation on your church, guys. Y you know? It's, uh... <laughs> I'm so anal when it comes to that. I'm digging out the floor, and I'll dig out the dirt. Around the wall... Underneath the wall. And replace that with stone as well. I don't want the church to fall down. I've just completed my 1000th garrison mission. Oh my god. How proud are you right now? I'm fucking over the moon. Seriously. That's ridiculous. 1000 garrison missions. Ugh. I haven't even done the, uh, what you call it with me, Druid. The, uh, oh, have you made another hole there? What are you doing with making all these holes? I haven't done the, uh, the ships, the dockyard with me, Druid. Just couldn't be asked. How far have you actually got with that on, uh, yeah, Not, well, pirate. not very, because, uh, I've ran out of oil. So, uh, yeah, you need to do the, you need to do the missions in the zone to get the do oil. Do you still have... Six ships. Are you capped at six, like me? I am capped at six, I. So we'd have to do things. It would have been nice to, like, get a few people on and do the things together, because it's yeah, quite I tough. Yeah, I went in that zone by myself, and... Uh, it's tough, isn't it? Yeah, they're all elites for a start. No, they're not all elites. Nah, right. Well, uh, I went down to the south area where there's, like, cats and shit. Oh, uh, really? And they're all elites. Yeah, I haven't put a font in the church yet. And yeah, we went back on WoW. And no, I don't have a public server. And I can't really make gargoyles. It's too small. And yes, it's legit. If you mean um, survival. And it's not pirated either. I don't know if that you mean legit by survival or pirate. I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So let's block that up so we don't get any monsters coming in. And uh it was like that, wasn't it? And then like that. Like that. There we go, there's your little there's your what are they called again? Pews. There's your pews. Right there. You have to have one there. Extra long pew at the back for the group that come no, 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 no. A longer pew at the back. For when, you know, a group of mates come in and you're like, Aye, let's go to church, man. I'm drunk, but whatever, let's go for a laugh. And then that, that'll be for that. Um, right, let's try and make some kind of thing here. How's that going to work? Like that.
Hmm. How are we going to do this with the with the priest? By the way, hmm. like uh, uh, with the priest, I've made a kind of like a, a loose kind of font at the front, like a a, a place. Um, I don't know. Well, for in the front guy of to all stand the pews, at. yeah. Yeah, in front of all the pews, I. But there's not much room to make a good one unless I remove some of the pews and bring it out further. But you kind of walk up the sides and then you can stand there, but there's not really enough room to kind of have the guy there blocked in. Could so... always make the uh, the room bigger. No, that's, that's an impossibility. <laughs> I can't do that. This is the size of the room forever and ever. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just trying to work out how to fit him in. Um, I'll have to jam him in somehow. I'm sure there's a way to do this. I mean, what could get? Nail him to the cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, if I did that, then. Right, so you could stand in there. That would be there. That would be there. They'd be blocked in there. See, they jump, don't they? Maybe half slabs there instead. So Sandy, you can't technically see anyone, but um, yeah, uh, mm, yeah I don't know. Mm. You were carrying us through dungeons. Apparently, James carried us through uh, dungeons. We you can't anyone. put a breeding harness on villagers. Can you? Can't can you? That'd be funny. Yeah. I like I like playing uh, alliance and horde. They've both got their merits right I'm gonna need them right, okay I'm gonna need some corners from the, these these things here I don't want to use book because it doesn't match right right let's see here we're gone here we're gone right oops Right, there we go. Right, that matches. Okay, so yeah, he couldn't be, he wouldn't technically be able to see out and address his parishioners, um, but fuck him. <laughs> that looks good. And we'll be able to see his willy, which that's all that really matters about a priest, isn't it? So, and it's perfect height, really, because you, you come up here, you receive the juice of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go on your merry way. <laughs> I hope there's no Christians in. I apologize. Actually, I don't want to apologize. Whatever. I mean, that's just a bit of fun. Right. Okay. So, yeah. I, and that kind of looks cool as well. So, we'll go up there and we can trade them. It's a shame we can't, like... Sp nah, it'd be better if we could speak to them face to face. Can we go up, like... Yeah. <laughs> the, juice, the juice of Christ. <laughs> oh, I've had a better idea. If we can put them in the corner... I mean, I know, I know, no one puts baby in the corner, but, like, we could actually put this guy in the corner, and then we've got a bit more room. And you do find often the priests are in the corner of the church, aren't they? 
You could trap right. him in like a small confessions box. I could do. Um, but I'm no, I'm thinking of him in the corner. Um, it 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 would look kind of cool. I think it would look right. So you got like that up there, and then we can kind of go up the side, and uh, he can have his like kind of area there where he. No. No, he you know, addresses the crowd. And then, uh. But he's got his little thing there. Where is it? We still can't see people, but we'll. We'll have them in a, a fence. Uh, can they open fence gates? I don't know if they can, can they? Probably. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. We'll not need that there if we put him in a half slab. But then it's still the same problem as he can't see over the top. See, it'd be a shame. I want to be able to see over the top, but maybe the only way we can do that is by fences. What kind of church are we building? I don't know. Just a church? Christian church? You know? Church of Mesh? Aye. Uh, Heretics, no? This is the Church of Christianity, because that's what priests do. I've not been reading the news. Um, yeah, so we, we, we have the we have the steps there. And then we'll get rid of those steps and we'll put that there. Or something, you know, like there. And then we we'll speak to him. That's better. It's a bit more simple as well. And it works. He's going to be standing in the corner. He's going to be like, ah, oh, praise God and all that. And then we go up and we're like, hey, yeah, give us some fucking eyes of Ender. <laughs> we're on our way. You preach all the shit you want. You know what I mean? And then we're going to have like a three, four, that like that. We've got to have the uh, symbolic cross window. I need to get up there and fix that as well. Um... Is this? Oh. Chest for donations. Oh, you know what, Clam? That's a good point. We really will need chests in here. Basement? Mm, possibly. There is there is actually a place at the side here that I could use. Yeah. Good point, though. Good point, Clam. Well done. Ten points for Gryffindor. I literally only said that because I watched Harry Potter the other night. <laughs> I was watching the other night. Oh, I watched Harry Potter one and two. I haven't seen them in uh, in a while. Right, I'm gonna switch that one to be this as well because that looks like more of a platform. There we go. That looks better. That looks better. I like that. And then I can put like a little. I don't know. We can put a maybe a. Lip there like that. I think you'd be standing there. Um, like that. So you can't get out. Could put him behind glass. <laughs> Just be like, ah, read priesty. Behind glass. We've got a couple. We can have 
two boxes here to push. Aye. Two boxes. With a workbench there. That's nice. We'll do our work. The work of God, obviously. Um, yeah. I don't think we'll need a great many deal. We're going to have more, another chest under here as well. I think you need like a, a cistern thing with water, with holy water in it. Just for extra detail. Could do at the door here. Uh, I could have a cistern in, I uh, definitely. Got space for that shit. Um, and if I put like a thing there. Um, add on. No, I don't need that. We'll put a full size block there. Block that, and then we'll put another chest under there. Right, we've got plenty of spaces we can put chests in here. This is coming together, actually. I'm quite pleased. Um, I've done picture frames for the things. Hi, Ryan. And then... Can we have another one? Can we fit another one of these at the back? Ah, shit. The, nah, the roof comes down too much. Ah, that's a shame. With that said, though, there's no reason why we can't do that and just... Ah. Uh, it's going to ruin that. Although, saying that... Uh, well, yeah, again, he has my limited vocabulary. If we do that, then we've got the cross on the back. Oh, looks nice. I like it. Hey. I'll need to get up there and fix the roof like because it's all screwed. Technically, we could have an upstairs to the church if we really need it. Because uh, we could go up here. And then this could open out into an upstairs area. So we could have like a... What's going to be up there? You know. Well, that's what I'm saying. If we need it. <laughs> just chests, I guess. Because I'm just thinking of trading with them. Overflow chests, you know. I mean, you, I mean, obviously, you've seen how many things the farmers need. I just wonder how many things the uh, the priest needs. Right, chests. But we've got three. We've got room for sing, three single chests, and then if we need to, we can use. Mo we can make more. But yeah, ah, it's a PC. It's a PC. Yeah. Uh... Right, need some glass, then I'm going to fill up with some of these windows. So that's got... Actually, I'm not. I'm going to finish the roof, because the roof, it needs fixing. I'm quite pleased with how this has come out. You need a piano in the corner. A piano? Mm -hmm. Or an organ. Do you reckon? This is going to be a double, just like that. Yeah. Oh, an organ, right. I, I get you. And an old woman sitting on it, playing it every Sunday. Did I tell you about when I went to um, I went to uh, the local church for um, caroling? We did caroling at uh, on last Christmas, and uh, did I? He rings a bell, yeah. And I and and there was the woman there who was singing like an opera singer. Oh, it was I don't remember that. me and my sister were just stifling our our laughter. My sister, well, no, my sister was making me laugh because she, I mean, she just laughs at like the most inappropriate stuff. So like this woman was like, but this woman was ridiculous. She was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, like really loudly though. And my sister just looked at us, and I was just, and, and I knew, and I cracked up, and I, I knew it. She looked, she gave us this look, she was just, <laughs> her sister was just like, and she turned and she looked at us, and I was just like, nah, did it, did it, did it. And she was just, she started laughing, and she's got this laugh, and it's it's too loud, her laugh, it's too loud. And uh, and I was ill, like, I was, I was gone. I, I couldn't, I couldn't even. Basically, as the kids say these days, I couldn't even. And uh, 
It was so funny, though, because this woman was just ridiculous. And she was with her family. She was about, I don't know, mid-60s or something. And she was with her family. So, like, you know, I was like, come on, say something. <laughs> Have you not said something? Though? By the way, mother, sort your singing out, love, because it's ridiculous. It's shit. <laughs> but um, but they hadn't, clearly. And uh, and we're left there to to laugh. And uh, and feel bad about it. Well, I didn't feel bad about it, but I was just—it was just funny. Uh, yeah. So that was our Christmas Eve. Laughing at some woman's attempt at singing. It was bad, though. It was really bad. How come you were caroling in the church, like? Well, um, my family on my dad's side is very religious. Yeah, right. Um, so my, so my my dad. So, I mean, my dad doesn't live with us. Um. But he comes home, like, usually every Christmas. And so he was home. Ah, that's a shame. I'm going to do the same there, maybe. So, yeah, he was home, and, and you know, I don't see my auntie that often on his side, so we uh, we went out. We said we'd go out with her for Carolyn. That ain't going to work, either. Do I have a mansion that we're built? No, we've just made a um We've just made a town. So but every building is kind of functional. So we've got like the old well, storage room in the old world was a practically a mansion. It was like. This one's practically a mansion though, if you look at it from the outside. I mean if you go I go up the tower. And you can see, but, um, yeah, th I think this storage room looks more like a mansion than the old one. Because it actually does look like a mansion. Like, it's you've got, like, the, you know, the centerpiece, and then it goes out to the to the sides. So that's the center door. And then you've got your two beer windows there in the rest of the house. And then we've got our windmill. The infernal library. That's the water drop room. Oh, shall I give a tour? I've got 20 paper water. I'll give you a quick tour. While it's raining. It's raining and it's dark, so... Might as well give it... Oh! 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 Creeper came running in. Jesus Christ! Sniffed him just in time. What a little bastard. Right, anyway. Jesus Christ. I know you shouldn't blaspheme in the house of God, but Jesus Christ! Right, um... And we'll start with the outskirts anyway. I don't want to be getting sucked into the water with the squids like, but never mind. This is the pumpkin and melon farm. So... I've got a bit of pumpkins and melons in there, actually. Something else is... Where's that? Uh, it uses water pumps as well. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm using Better Than Wolves mod. So, um, I uh, pump the water through from there. Where's that skeleton? He's and uh, so the water's pumped up into here and uh, and down there as well. There's water pumped up there. And then I pumped some more water up to here into a trough. So the water's pumped up from the river. See the water pump? And, uh, and so this is pretty much all the pumpkins and melons that we need. It's not huge, but it's nice. And I like the fact that it's organic. So, like... It looks like an actual pumpkin patch that you go through and you're like, oh, I'll just my, you know, I pick up these things rather than just one big long line. So it looks nice, but it's also practical because we do have the long line up there and the bird still maintains its kind of fit. I love it. I think it's great. So you got this. Then we have... A, is it a new moon? Can't see it for shit. Oh my god, it's pitch. It's pitch. It's pitch. It's gloom. It's gloom. Oh my god, it's horrible. No, Max, not my dad. <laughs> Brilliant. This is where we trade with the villagers. In their hotel. Slash, well, no, it's a hotel, let's be honest. It's nothing, nothing sinister here. Uh, they have a toilet. I mean, what more could they want? Flowers on the table. Um, so, yeah. 
They're all all the farmers are max level. Yes, I use better than wolves mod, so it's slightly different to uh, vanilla. Well, I say slightly. It's ridiculous. It's different. Ay, Jesus, juicy Christ. And then uh, in here is, uh, this is where we, this is the sheep. This is a new addition that he's put in recently. If you place a block, they get nervous. And if you destroy blocks, they get nervous as well. So there's no more of this uh, hiding, um, hiding cows underground at the beginning of the game. This is the pig, pig area, pig barn. Uh, this is uh, Arthur T. Curlington and uh, Gumbo as well. We saved them from. Well, I, I don't. Well, that we. I can't remember. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, we took these away when we put the cows in. When we put uh, what's the cows called? Hamburglar and someone else. I can't remember the names. I don't know. But we've got the cows over here. I do not want to be going in there because the cows will rape us if I go in. No, they will. Now we've got our hemp farm. Right there. It's nice and productive. And what else? This is our uh, saw. Sawmill. So we can come in here and chop shit up. It's like probably the most efficient saw ever. It's like it just it's just ridiculous. It, it carves through wood really well. And then this is where we breed the cows. Right, what's his name? Hamburglar and what's this? Prince T Born the Fourth. That's 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 his name. So the cows sit on there and uh and then these dispenser blocks dispense wheat. Uh, the wheat gets stuck in the cobweb, and the, which gives the cows time to eat it. Go into breeding mode, they breed, a new cow appears and drops down under there. When we have enough cows, this is the slaughter room, we uh, burn them. <laughs> and they run around on fire, and then they die. Uh, once this is activated, it's, uh, it pumps out piles of dirt, and it's basically... Uh, it's a it's a circuit that activates every five minutes. It's a standard item decay timer. So it feeds the cows every five minutes. Oh, look at that skeleton over there. Where is he? Uh, what else is there? Well, there's the windmill, which is up there. I can't turn it on in the rain. Um... But if I do, I'd flip this lever, all the lights would come on, and then I fill up the, uh, the the millstones, and they'll grind up certain things. So they'll grind bones into bone meal, and stuff, and it flows. They pop out. It flows all the way down under here, and you come around here with a nice view of the uh, the river and a nice view of uh, Liquid's Infernal Enchanting Library thing, and you come down here and collect them out of the boxes. There's nothing in them at the minute because I just emptied them before, so that's good. Yeah, I dig an area before night came so I could lure them into it and quickly block off the entrance. They still kicked me into the ocean after placing the first one. Wow. Did you uh did you get killed by squids at all? Uh this is the water drop room. This is where our uh, strip mine is. So you can like whoop and you drop through the water and you don't take any damage. So this is where the strip mine is. Uh, oh yeah, you can. This this stores items from the surface. Um, in our storage room, we've got a little place that we can just throw items into, and it'll come down and flow into here. These are items to go up to the surface. This is storage. Oh, we've got some nether coal down here. We've got a stack of jungle logs as well. Got some uh, gravel as well. Anyway, so this is where we've started our strip mines. We've done, we've done quite a bit of strip mining. <laughs> this is the. This is how you make cracked stone brick. You uh, you got to put stone brick down, and then you put your lava over the top of it, and it'll drip through, and then uh, it'll make stone brick, and that lever shuts off the lava. Then I can collect the stone brick. In fact, I think I'll collect it now. Um, oops. Uh, 
there, so I can collect this brick. And then you place fresh stone bricks. Ah, oh, bugger. Come on, you bugger. Shit, that's a faff on. Have to sort that out. back and then the lava comes back down yeah it is and that'll flow the top it works really well actually right okay can't take you into the infernal library because it's secret top secret while liquid works on it that's how I oh a red mushroom grew ah, I planted a red mushroom All right. so uh, that's good half is that later we traded mycelium with the villagers, just in case anyone didn't know. Good night, James. This is the storage room. This is the area we've mapped. These are fully zoomed out maps. That's our town. Those collection of brown pixels there. That's spawn. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, Captain Sticks' place is over there. Uh, Void Mage is living uh, where? There. Living over, I think that grey area might be his castle actually, because I don't think that was there last time, so that might be it. Um, Maestro is living uh, there, I think. Maybe. No, maybe there. Possibly. Um, I don't know where Morgana is because I haven't seen his place. There's a couple of other people knocking around, There's a couple of people living there, stuff like that, so that's, that's cool. Uh, so we need to map out more of that. We need to create those two maps as well. Um, all of the blocks go on this side of the room. All the building blocks, they're all separated out into certain things. We've got a saw here for when we need it. Kitchen's down in here. This is the recipe list and how you make uh, certain things and the cooking requirement. Ah, oh, that's where all our nether coal is. I was wondering, I thought we were running out of nether coal. There's a load in the kitchen. Yeah. I made a bit, I made a load more nether coal. Put it in a little box. Oh, hold on. What? Aye, right, where are you, Morganon? Right across the water, past that snowy peninsula east of Spawn. Ah, so you're there. Is that where you are? On the, on that green area. That's uh, that's kind of cool. Overflow chests. Items are in here. So you got like this is our, you know lovely items area um, then if you come out here we've got our oh, I love this area it's nice that uh, I replaced the center of uh, the vine trap by the way with uh, with grass and it looks lovely center of the vine oh right yeah did you yeah it looks nice pottery room this is where we make all of our potteries oh just sit in the snowy bit oh well that's cool alright well at least I know where you are now solar and bottling room can't demonstrate it because we don't have any ground nether rack. That's the vine trap. Vines grow down there and automatically get cut off by the saw and then get placed in a little hole around the corner. We've got the kiln. Works really well, but can't really show you an example because I don't have anything cooked up, uh, thingied up. Plus, I can't be asked because it's stopped raining now and uh, I want to get back and build the church. Library. This is where the librarians are going to go in here block behind here so we'll come here to trade with the librarians this is where the alchemy lab is so we've got three brewing stands there's all the ingredients for the brewings and there's the recipe list on the wall this is where we can collect the water we've thought of everything man we've thought of everything and that's it actually there's the crucible so we'll melt down our iron so that's your lot that's your tour Oh, you can see the church. Oh, it looks great, you know, from the crucible. It's nice. It's canny. It's good. I like it. Mm. 
Oh, by the way, um, when the church is built, opposite, you know, opposite the um, the blacksmith, where there's a space. Uh, the path at the minute, like between the blacksmith and the sawmill. Liquid. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm teaching of these fucking idiots in Zilfarag out of quest properly. What were you saying? Out of quest in Zilfarag. They're going all to all the wrong places in all the wrong order, and it's, it's just annoying. No, right. Um, yeah, well, you know, opposite the uh, the blacksmith, between the blacksmith and the uh, the sawmill. Yes. Um, well, if we if we put the path pretty much directly outside the door of the blacksmith, opposite there, there's like a fairly substantial space, enough to build a building. Mm. So I was going to put the armory there. Pardon me. You know, the armory that we're talking about building, where we keep all of our kind of tools, weapons, armor, yeah. and stuff, like for adventures. Like, for instance, if we are going on an adventure, or if we're going to the nether, or if we're going mining, or whatever, we've got, we could have different chests for each, so we don't have to kind of be like, oh, what do I want to do with mining, and all that shit? You know what I mean? Right. So I figured we could put that there. It's a good, it'll fill the space well. And then we've got the other area around this place here for butcher. I'm thinking maybe like a market stall or something for the butcher, something quite simple. And then we can, kind of, and then we might have enough space in the middle here to have a tree. And a little square that we can walk around. And then I'll be happy with it, me, like. And then all we need to do is do the, uh, what you call it? The water, uh, the, the, the trap. The, the mob trap thing. Sounds good. Mm. At this point, I'm sort of caring less and less. As long as it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, caring less about things look specifically. That's what I was saying, like, it, it's good enough. That's my kind of motto. Because... That's kind of what drove us away in the first place, getting sick of all these like minute little things we that were doing. That being said, I don't want it to sort of, like, I don't want us to regret it down the line. Well, I mean, obviously, it's not going to look shit. I mean, the church looks nice. I'm happy with it, but I'm not like, I'm not like going into major detail. I mean, certain things are bugging me, but it would require a lot of, you know, alterations to correct it, and that's not something I'm willing to do. Uh, but I'm fine with that. I'm alright. Right. Um, I'm going to make some glass. Put that in. Because that's going there. For defos. Let go there. These are going up there, so... I've got the glass there as well. Oh, I should have brought some, what you call it? Give me some glowstone on here instead of thingy. I think up the, up the corner. Right, okay. Um, that there as well. That's not even. Now we have them. Brilliant. The armory underground. Oh, uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Right, I need, uh, actually, yeah, that's what I need. Um, lots of those item frames. A 20 should do it, maybe. I 
I'll just make as many as I can. Yeah, I heard about that. New Star Trek series, did you know that? Me? Yeah. I've never actually watched any Star Trek anyway. Oh, really? Oh, I thought you yeah, did. Nah. Okay, never mind. I knew Star Trek series in 2014. I mean, <laughs> 17. Who's it gonna start? I have no idea. I have no idea. Where are you, bugger? Come on, then. I don't want to go anywhere near that water. Do we need a chandelier? Yes, I think we do. Yeah, we need some kind of chandelier up there. We need to build, we need to correct it as well. Good night, blue. Could even get some red wool and replace that. You know, put a like a red carpet because quite often churches have red carpets up the up yeah. the aisle. So we could maybe do something like that. Gonna need this there for now temporarily. Nah. This needs, hmm, I don't know what, well that can come down anyway. I don't know if we need, um, 
do we need anything here? I mean, you know, yeah, it's it could be dangerous leaving it there like that, but aye, we probably do. We should probably have some. Oops. Shit. Oh. Oh, this works. Oh, I don't have the corners. Oh, shit. There we go, that might look canny. Tuh. Welcome to the world of Firefox, Raythan. Google Chrome's always fucking up Firefox with its shit programming. Like, as in Google, I don't mean Google Chrome, but Google. They're always fucking over Firefox users. My Google Chrome plays streams fine. Yeah, I, th oh, I think Google Chrome should. Yeah, that doesn't sound like normal because it definitely should play it because it's YouTube and Google are the same now, aren't they? So. Did I complete this side of the wall? I did, didn't I? I don't know. Hi, Matt. Hi, Firefox is a win. I love Firefox. Oh, missed that with the glass. Sure about that for the tower. Like, I might have a, I might have a look and see if there's anything else. There's a different way I can do it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, right. As far as that's concerned, though, I don't like that. That's going to have to change. Unless I can do something to cover it up somehow. I don't think I can though. But I think I'm nearly done with the church, to be honest. Um, 
Certainly the outside's nearly done. Not much more I can do around here. Might put a little bit of detail in. And I'll probably I'll add some mossy cobble and some cracked stone brick. Um and I might put in some uh, some steps where you'd find thingies. So like I'd put I'll take that out and put that in so it's like looks like a missing brick. Give it that old weathered look, you know. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Like that there. Boosh. There we go. Oh, it's missing a brick. Oh, it's going to collapse. Um, what do we do? Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Um, there. Stuff like that. Little details. And, uh, and I think uh, I think that'll be it, really. I'm going to make a little something around here as well and then a proper steps up I don't know what but uh, but for that for now I think I'm going to call it a night because uh, it's one o'clock get some glowstone from in here we'll have to go down in the nether by the way and get some more glowstone yeah I need a lot well we've run out of uh, nether brick as well uh, nether rack nether brick oh have we yeah. oh right okay Right, well that could be another night then. We could go we could drag Void Mage and uh see if Maestro's coming in at all. Can he? Um there. And run out of food. Um I think we're done with the uh I don't need this area anymore, so let's get rid of this dirt anyway. Ah, I could put some vines on the side as well. That might work. This would be too much, but it would be nice to have a cross face in the other way as well, so. So, no matter which side we're looking at, we get presented with the tell lovely Jesus. I don't know. We'll see. That looks alright. <clears throat> what? Used to go there at night, grind against the wall and eat the dust as a medicine against the plague. That's nuts. Just goes to show you. Crazy fucking idiots. Right. That's it. I'm going to get some food because I'm starving. Um, so thanks for joining me guys and uh, I'm probably going to finish a bit of that up offline just putting on the shit I don't know I might stream it again I'm not sure but I like the church it's quite nice it would be nicer if that was a bit longer or a bit shorter uh, like as in the roof may be down by one or two blocks or push that along by one or two or three blocks um, but we don't really have the room so the church is bigger than what I thought it was going to be, but I'm quite glad I got it to fit on the hill that I made. So I'm all in all, I'm quite pleased with that, really. So good times. 
Anyway, see you later. I might hop in WoW actually. Do you fancy playing on uh, the Warrior and and Pala? I'm Let getting tired to be honest. I might tired yeah. myself. Yeah. Right, anyways. Okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. Alright, see you guys later.